is a hit at a mile. All right guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. So today we're gonna take a look at the NRL 22 match that I attended yesterday in Evansville, Indiana at the Westside Sportsman Club. This is a monthly event that takes place from June all the way to May. May is generally when the Nationals are in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. So this was the first event that I attended. I missed last month's because I didn't know about it. But basically, once I found out about it, I hurried up and threw a rifle together. This is my Savage Mark II FVSR in a Boyd's Pro Varmint stock. I have a Cytron S-Tac 4-20 scope, and I was shooting SK Standard Plus ammo yesterday. Overall, I think I done pretty good. I placed 4th place out of 10 shooters yesterday, so I was well pleased with that. There were many shots that I missed, and uh, that, that could have done better. Uh, a couple of the guys that done a better, kind of had off days or whatever, or had a bad stage, and that definitely helped me. But uh, I definitely have uh, some room for improvement and think I can improve. So uh, I learned a lot yesterday. So basically today we're just going to break down each stage on uh, what happened and how I did. I did put up a video on Sunday morning, a just about an 18 minute video of all the video that I recorded. Uh, this is just random shooters uh, during each stage. All my shooting is in this, but there's no commentary or nothing, and then I have some unofficial results at the end. There are one or two scores that they was kind of uncertain about. It wouldn't affect me because they was down lower, but uh, that, so, so some of those scores may change just a little bit, but basically that, that's what happened. So each month they have a course of fire that you can print out. So uh, for next month and beginning of August, I'll be able to... Uh, have what we're going to shoot the course of fire. So uh, I actually practiced on my own at my home range. Uh, I ran through each stage the best I could to prepare myself for this. All right, so I'm going to be playing these uh, video clips as I talk here. So the first stage was the tank trap. That is three four by four posts and a crisscross fashioned and then a third one across this way. We started out by shooting in the center, then we went to each upright and then finished back in the center with two rounds each. We had three targets that we could shoot at, a one inch, a two inch, or a three inch. The smaller the target, the more points. So the one inch target was worth ten points, the two inch target was worth seven points, and the three inch target was worth five points. I chose to shoot at the two inch target, middle of the road, I, that is well within my ability, and I got eight hits out of 10, scoring 56 out of 100 possible points. So looking back at that stage, I should have probably started with the one inch target and see how I did. If I did miss a couple, I could have changed. I could have stopped, called out, I want to shoot the two inch target and then finished. Um, this is kind of new positional shooting for me. I'm generally a bench rest shooter. I'm usually shooting off a bench with a bag. So uh, a little bit uncomfortable for me, but it's not bad. I can definitely improve on this in the future. So, uh, finish watching the little video clip here, but uh, just getting comfortable, kneeling in the right position, and uh, just, just holding a good steady. The bag I was using in this was the, uh, I think like Armageddon Game Changer bag. It's a very popular bag now, there were several there, and they, uh, a guy let me try his out, and I really liked it. So, uh, these are the last two shots here. Impact. Impact. All right, so the next stage was also a barricade stage. It's called Baseball, Hot Dogs, Apple Pie, and NRL 22. Two minute time limit, 10 rounds. We were shooting off the sawhorse at 50, 75, and 100 yards. At 50 yards, we had an inch and a half target. Impact. At 75, we had a three inch target. And at 100 yards, we had a four inch target. You got 10 Impact. points per each hit for a possible score of 100. We shot the five rounds off the top of the sawhorse, and then we transitioned to the bottom little shelf, and then we shot another five rounds. Impact. So I actually started this round and shot one shot, and I knocked the target down. So we stopped it and then reset it, and then I just reshot it. I shot very well on this stage, hitting nine out of ten targets. Um, 
I felt impact. more comfortable at this stage. I don't know what the difference was, but uh, it was more of a stable rest shooting off this saw horse. The targets weren't too big, um, you know, inch and a half of 50, then they get bigger as you go out. So a four inch target at 100 yards is not a big deal. Um, my scope, I'm holding eight minutes at 100 yards, but this yeah, stage makes you transition good. from 50 to 75 to 100. With the okay. amount of time, you could dial this, but uh, I didn't. I just used holdovers. I have a little dope card that I don't okay. the side of my rifle. I don't need it, but I like to have it there. I like to see the holds there just so I don't second guess myself. Um, transitioning to the bottom shelf, uh, it's just getting comfortable. Uh, it was kind of higher up than I'd practiced at home on my own sawhorse, so it was actually a little bit easier. At home, I kind of shot in a modified prone position, kind of setting up. But here I was Impact. more uh, kind of just sitting and, and leaning over. Nice. So it worked pretty well. The equipment was one bag, and that was uh, the, the game changer bag we were using. And uh, that's about it on that, that stage. That was, a, that was one of my favorite stages. I done really well on it. All right, so the next stage was a prone stage on the Know Your Limits rack. They may take our points, but they'll never take our freedom was the name of the stage. Two-minute time limit, 10 rounds, using a... At 50 yards, a one inch, a three quarter inch, a half inch, and a quarter inch target on the Know Your Limits rack, and then a uh, inch and a half target on a hanger beside it. So there were five targets, big to small, and basically you shoot. This is Know Your Limits. So anytime you miss, you have to start over, and you only have 10 rounds. I did very well on this. I hit the first four targets down to a half inch target and my first four shots and I quit. I, I, I kind of played the strategy game, didn't get greedy, and uh, I got 70 out of a possible 100 points. That quarter inch target would have been worth 30 points. If I would have shot that target and missed, I would have had to start over. And then I was thinking the odds of me hitting that half inch target again is, you know, 50-50, so, so I better quit. So I kind of used the strategy on this. A lot of people on this stage got a zero because they missed or, you know, they ran out of rounds. So uh, I thought that was a pretty wise move on my part. Um, something to add, um, one bag was the equipment. And uh, like I said, I have this short action precision uh, running gun bag, but I, I went back to Old Faithful, my old Caldwell green rear rest. I've shot tens of thousands of rounds off of this rest here, and uh, I used it. And another thing I'll add is my uh, eBay bipod or whatever worked flawlessly for this stage. I'm used to, uh, I have a Blackhawk, which is a Harris clone that I generally use. And shooting prone, I needed just a little bit more height. And this is actually just no problem to raise it up a click out there in the field. So uh, very happy with the bipod on this uh, stage. And then, like I said, you can just lower it right back down. No, no big deal at all. So 70 out of 100 on that. I was pretty happy with that stage. All right, so the next stage was another prone stage called Suns Out, Guns Out, two minute time limit, 10 rounds. We were shooting 50 yards on paper. This is my actual target, so 50 yards at this. Points were 10 points, seven points, or five points uh, off the deal. So that, that you have a 10 ring, a seven ring, and a five ring. Uh, possible 100 points. Uh, equipment was one bag, and once again, I used my green bag. The thing was, you shot two rounds strong hand so i shot two rounds right handed then i switched and went left handed shot two rounds you alternate back and forth so you'll shoot three times strong and two times weak two rounds each this stage i've done pretty good i scored an 85 out of 100 on and the thing is i am a left-handed person but i rifle i shoot a rifle right handed practicing the other day this stage and at this stage i got perfect two 10 hits on both left-hand targets. I shoot better left-handed than I do right, and I don't know why. I'm completely not comfortable shooting. It, it, it's just one of those weird things. But uh, I was very happy with this stage. Uh, eight, like I said, 85 out of 100 I thought was pretty well. The uh, ammo I was shooting was the SK Standard Plus, and it done okay. I think there's a little bit more tuning I can do with my rifle. Uh, I can, I'm playing with the uh, action torque and, and maybe even playing with some different ammo. Uh, we might be able to tighten our groups up a little bit, but I was pretty happy with this stage. Um, shooting prone, I seem to be getting a little bit better at it. So this next stage was patriotic positional, two minute time limit, 10 rounds. 50 yard target with a two and a half inch target and a six inch hanging target. 10 points per hit, 100 possible points. 
So you start standing. The only equipment you can use is a sling only, and I made sure I had my sling with me. Standing, you shoot a six inch target with two rounds, then you kneel down and shoot three rounds at a two and a half inch target. So you have a little bit bigger target to uh, aim at when you're standing, and when you're kneeling, uh, it's a, you know, a more stable way to shoot, and you have a smaller target. Then you, also, you repeated that with two more standing and two more kneeling. I got six hits out of ten, and this is the stage that I need to work on the most. Shooting offhand is something I really struggle with. Um, I did back my magnification out a little bit down to like 14, 15, and that seemed to help. Um, I got some, I, I missed some kneeling, and I shouldn't have. So uh, that's definitely something I can uh, improve on in the future. So this stage, I also got just a little bit confused the first time I kneeled. I shot the first shot off pretty quick, and I actually was... You can see I kind of hesitate there before I stand up because I think I only shot two. And when I get done with the match and I pull the magazine out, I was expecting to see a round there, and it wasn't. So uh, that's something I need to pay more attention to. I, uh, I just kind of kind of forgot what I was doing for a second. And like, did I fire two or did I fire three? And, and I thought I actually dropped a round there, but, but it worked out. So the total score for the day... I scored a 361. I guess that would be out of a total, probably possible, of 500 points. First place got 394, second 287, three got 373, and I was at 361. So basically, a couple more hits, four more hits would have basically put me in the lead or, or winning it. So. Uh, the, uh, the patriotic positional, if I would have ran that stage, that would have gave me 40 more points, giving me a 401. So, uh, like I said, I was very happy with, my, uh, with how I did on this match. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one. We, uh, they had to scoot this one up. It's generally the uh, last Saturday or the fourth Saturday of the month, and due to some scheduling issues, they scooted it up. So the next one, I believe, is going to be August 25th. So we've got six weeks before the next one. And then it's going to be another two to, you know, three weeks before they release the course of fire. So uh, I won't get to practice the actual course of fire for a little bit. But I'm going to be playing with some ammo changes, maybe. I'm still probably going to stick with maybe the SK. I don't know. I got some of this uh, Yellow Box Ely. I'm going to give it a try. Also picked up some Federal uh, Gold Medal. This is the low velocity stuff. I haven't shot this. I've shot the high velocity. I don't like it at all. But I just picked up a couple boxes of each to give them a try. I may look into the SK Match or the Wolf, what is it, Ultra Match or whatever, the higher grade. So uh, I really think this rifle kind of likes that SK, but uh, I want to give everything a, choice, a chance and see how it does. But overall, I was very happy with the rifle. Uh, it performed very well. For uh, I've just been shooting this rifle for a week, but I did put about 700 rounds through it this week on about three outings. So uh, I was getting pretty familiar with it. The, uh, the short barrel and the stock, it's not too bad to shoot prone. It's not too heavy, and uh, that's what I was looking for. The, uh, the Boyd stock added a little bit more weight than the original fiberglass one, but the benefits on the stiffness and the being free-floated and everything, definitely uh, it works out better. So uh, that was this must match. I highly recommend you guys checking out nrl22.org. See if there are any of these matches in your area. If you're local to Evansville, Indiana, I will invite you out to the Westside Sportsman Club to give it a try. If you know me personally, get a hold of me if you're interested in this. Uh, I can help you out, uh, kind of tell you what you need to do. Equipment is very minimal to, to compete in this. Uh, I, can, I can guide you or even help you out um, getting a rifle set up for this. You don't need much. You're just shooting 100 yards is the farthest. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of practice, you, you'll be competing. So uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you later.